Misha? Misha? Teams? 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 Come back. No sir, walk out. Anthem is not. Walk out. Walk out. Only walk out. No anthem. Hey, the full team. Ah. The full team. Come, come, come. Oh, first half, ma. First half, come here. Chocolate, come here. Hey, okay, cola.
So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here as we kick off the game. East Bengal starting off. And what a game we have planned here today. Our delegate the sports complex. East Bengal starting the kickoff. Left to right on your screen. Starting off with. Adil Amal, the captain, leading the team of Tanmay Das. Aman CK, Nasib Rahman, Shaman Besra, Arishek Punjab, Kudaru Singh, Sayan Banerjee, Joseph Justin, Nam Borish Singh, and in goal, Gaurav Shaw. Adamas United, though, who are inside the box looking for the shot. Well, it too much on the ball, I think, there. Nonetheless, it went upward and out for the goal kick. We got a shot who plays a shot. And Adamas United who line up with their captain, Siddharth Pranay or Karnaja. Leading uh, the starting 11 of Sanjay Ura, Swarnadeep Sangma, Devjit Basak, Sam Sarkar, Subal Chudu, Suresh Chandra Soren, Santanu Roy, Abu Sufyan, Sheikh, Abdul Suba, and in gold, Vijay Orange. Just passing it around on the defense is Adamas. Plays the long ball, but no one on the other end. Bring it down for a trap. Still with Adamas. Now Adamas from distance, just not far behind it. And Against a team like East Bengal, you would need to take every chance you get. Chances like that don't come easy. And don't come often, rather. East Bengal is a really powerful team to watch out for here in the Group C. Game number three. Yeah. And. They are looking for, forward to building up their momentum. East Bengal won the other day against Office United Football Club. Slim victory. Yeah, a victory nonetheless. And definitely we're looking to build up on that. Get yeah, yet another victory in the books for them. That was though. There are fresh legs coming on. Maybe a bit of chip on the shoulder as well. Adamus United with something to prove. Just couldn't quite keep the ball under control there. So we to do and gave it away, but still comes back to Adamus United. Now the midfield trying to dictate the pace of the game. And Rafi goes with a foul, a foul there. Back to the side from the outside. Not sure if it went out there.
Nice pick. Now try to play the through ball. There is a player there. But couldn't quite get it. Nicely fed it from Adamas and was looking for the counter, but it still comes back to this is Bengal's player who again clears it away. Again, for oh, East Bengal. And looking to feed the ball in for Adamas, but East Bengal defense gets back first. Just to hold up now for a little bit. Continue the Hanaya. There is some sort of check from the referee. Name and a Katamar Lakari. Adamus looking to push. Through the defense of East Bengal with the throw in now. Into the box side. Luck trying to get that acrobatic kick there. Semi bicycle kick. Just on the edge of the box, keeper comes and collects it. A shortage in the pass, and it came to East Bay Gold, like East Bay Gold through the middle, but just fell offside. Well, it did look offside to me in the get go there. Just not a bit too early. So the head is gone just a little bit. And for that split second to have stayed offside. Onside rather. But nonetheless, it's gone offside. And another ruin. Attack for East Bengal. Throw in now for Adamus again. Just Adamus now. This time plays a shot throw to Sanjoy. Sanjoy, but also goes off again. And I think what Adamus need in today's match is to keep that continuous press on on East Bengal Football Club. East Bengal a team 
has been around for a while, knows these waters, and knows how to wade through deep waters later on in the match. And Adamas just need to figure out that rhythm and break the rhythm of East Bengal. They won't win this. And that continuous pressure that I was talking about. So they keep that up and switch that on rather. That could pull down the stamina maybe of East Bengal to give them an opening to their margin. Adamus are opening and find them a few goals maybe in the back of the net. It is a curious task, but that's what would make the victory somewhat that much more clear for Adamus. And here comes East Bengal. No fake of the body. Try the shot. Comes to Vijay Oran. Oran. I'm sorry. Not in a hurry to distribute it. Long, long ball play on the flank. We have a runner. Son of Deep to Sanima. Just couldn't quite keep it in. Just to roll over the edge of the line. Going again this time. Now for Adamus. Love a bit of footwork there from Super Chidu. Not for the ball to be played in, but you know, on the other end of it, that's Super. Doing a really good job to skip past two to three of the East Bengal players. Gold Brigade, as they like to be called, East Bengal. And a bit of stoppage outside of the box of Adama Missions, uh, rather, Adama United. Sorry. And she plays it up. It comes to East Bengal. Now, on the other end, for East Bengal to take Going back to the keeper. So two players brought down, but nothing given of it. Adamus tried to clear it up for. I don't think there was any intention behind that shot to find a player. There wasn't a player there. But at the same time, 
it went towards the outside, towards the sideline and went out the throw in at the halfway line. Now a little bit more of a hold up in the play here. Now back and away. I'm not sure what what's the hold up there. Maybe we have to for them to stop for a little while. As the cross now comes in, headed over the goal post for. East Bengal and Adamus get the cold kick. Pressure from East Bengal, forcing the arrow, and East Bengal get it back. Now ball played through by Adil Amal, but that's caught it. It's still with East Bengal. Now trying to drive in, Amal. Nice defending there. Well, desperation defending there from. Adama United. Adama United Sports Academy. Now, Kono Nasib Raman to take. They're going to play it into the box. It does, it does meet a red and gold shot. But I think it went off the blue shot for another corner. Let's see, take it again. Let's see, one, two. He did that assist to open up the scoring early on in the game. David Scott, but Adamus capitalizes and now can they find the counter attack? No, they don't. East Bengal gets back and plays it away. And we see here oh, Adamus still not quite able to get a stop the shooting on the game. Well, neither does. East Bengal, to be very honest, both of them just trying to find that rhythm still if you're almost at 20 minute mark. To a little bit more common for Colt is East Bengal. We'll have to work through that too. In the course of the game, both teams, especially Adamas, who are coming in as the underdogs in this matchup. pretty well so far to stay on level and get the goal kick now from Vijay Oran now 
Keep on digging a little bit wide and then going back to the keeper. I'm looking to just try a little bit there with EBFC's player. Here's Osana. Try to play it in, but not a little bit of space for East Bengal. Can they capitalize? Ajamas. Just coming back in time, but still with East Bengal now. East Bengal trying to find. But open up Adamas. Adamas playing a little bit more freely right now and East Bengal looking to take. And two players in front of the goal. East Bengal trying to take advantage of the situation there. And had two players running in. He ran down the line so well, Nasir Rama. Tried to cross it in. There were two players in. Skipped through both of them. What is the third player on the far post? The fast far post. He too couldn't get that shot in. Hit it out for the goal kick. And on the other end, but this time he got shot. Very aware of it. No trouble there for him. Stand his ground, Marcy Lina. Lexi. Marcy was coming back more in the defensive line now. He looks to be on the defensive line. Aman and Tad Madas now playing between them. Now played it up. A clip chain. What is that, Bijar? Away. Comes in front of collective. And now a little bit of space for Sugal to do to pass it. Nobody running and from goal line to goal line does it go. And there was a substitution there, Jitin. Comes on for Suresh Chandra Soran. Jitesh Soran comes on. And now we have a counter attack. On the other end, and a fast paced game. This time, one on one on the keeper. Can he get it? Nicely saved by Big Joy. Desperation. Clear is there. Comes sliding in. I've said it for the corner kick. And that was Aman CK, I believe, who took that run. Let it throw in again. Oh, yeah, the keeper. Bijai. Told the referee just hold on a second. Lace. Untied. Fair play. To East Bengal as well. For holding up for him. And now the throw in. East Bengal just not quite able to get the possession much there and go for the goal kick. That was probably one of the best shots of the game there from Aman running on that right flank, cutting in. One of our keeper, but when he did try to place it, 
cheeky in the side netting, maybe in the far post. I believe he was looking for, but nonetheless was scouted well by Big Jai Orang. Yes, he's been going long. This time, he has to clip it over nicely. Here again by Big Jai. Beautiful keeping from him. Just gets a hand on it. Lovely, lovely way to spot out. And now East Bengal look at like they are inching closer and closer to finding that opening goal. Not sure who that was. I think that was Aman again. Or was that Nasib Ram on the side? Across from Nasib. Head up. Defending. Lovely defending, but not out of the woods yet. East Bengal trying to get shots on. They're hitting him while shots on. Finally, Adamas looks so well there in the back, I might add. He tries to get the ball away, but only momentarily as that's coming back. The game's a bit. And it goes out for the goal kick. A little concerned now, maybe for Adamus as Vijay sits down. He's been doing so well, and this could be a severe loss for Adamus. He has to be substituted off. I don't think he should, has to be, but if he is, he might. Be a bit of a concern there because he's been doing so well. He's been there. Wall, which has been unbreakable so far at almost the 30th minute mark, half an hour mark, 27 minutes of the clock. And he has been the one to hold them off for so long. Every single time they've come close, one on one with the keeper, two chances. Two really amazing chances so far, really prominent standing out chances, which he has saved, fought it off. East Bengal. So, let it check it out on him. I think he's okay because Medic walks off the field as he puts his boot back on. Good job. And then not much of a hurry there. So far, really fabulous game, nail biting. I could call it. And we now have the gold kick from Vijay. And the thing with this game is, what makes it so good is that it's being held off for so long, really well by the defense. Of the quote unquote underdog team. And East Bengal, who are kind of the superpower in this matchup, seem to be held at bay for the first 30 minutes of this game. But now, East Bengal with a new. Flair looking to run in through, but again, there is that defense of Adamas United. This time sent out again. Another player down. 
East Bengal's player down. I think he took a jump there. I wish Sheikh couldn't jump. I believe that is. Took a jump there and landed awkwardly, I think, on his hamstring. Well, I'm sorry, that is Joseph Justin. Who's down? Landed pretty awkwardly. Joseph Justin, who's also been um, moving, a needle mover here at East Bengal. Courtesy of him picking up the, courtesy of the penalty from him picking up the victory the other day at Northeast United against Northeast United Football Club. Pretty much one of the needle movers at East Bengal here for the Red and Gold Brigade. That drop ball. And here, a damage tries to play it up. With a spin all head. And I was trying to get it back. And two, a clash of two players and well, it looks like a fight could break up, but instead, a sign of sportsmanship. But they hug it out. And the referee blew the whistle for the foul. There's Adamas now. Adamas on the run. Well, Adamas does get it back. There's no one inside the box when he clips. It into the box. Oh, good shot. Gets it. Call call to this time in favor of Adamas. We want that foul again. Just had played the ball in East Bengal. To find his player up. Adamas looked to get that head on it. And when he went up, a player from behind gave him a slight tug in the air, causing him to fall awkwardly. But Enough to give him a foul, not enough to give him a card in offense. But it, well, there wasn't any ill intention, I believe, behind that shot. Behind that tackle, rather, I would call it. He just wanted to get the ball, and bad luck, whoever jumps higher gets the ball under their control and miscalculated from. East Bengal. Another shot. Just so much. Enough behind that. Came on the edge of the box. And makes the space on the left side. Open up for his left side. For left footed shot. But it went wide. East Bengal get it back, the ball. Well, they did start off this play. And they gave it away. Now there's a clash of two players.
a little free kick has been given for that. Rather no. That we just want to check up on them. I don't think the whistle went off for a foul. Just want to check up with both players were all right. Ball was anyway with the keeper. Oran, Vijay Oran, and then plays it up. I haven't had numbers fall back, but anyway, it's not much use as it was going out for a goal kick and it did in the end run out, get the goal kick, but still Adamus just wanted to be safe, have numbers behind, just in case somebody runs through and gets the soft ball before it went out. There was a player lurking there, but he to gave up. No, he wouldn't reach the ball in time. A two body spin gone. Take your promising run. Nicely defended there. He goes for the throwing. Sliding tackle defense. Rather might have come in as a foul at the end of it. Well, yes, the foul has been given. Well, from this angle, it did not look much of a foul. Looked like a pretty clean tackle, but. Well, the referee was there, saw him from close, but it seen something we did not. Nonetheless, it's still back with Adamus goes to keep up. Now the defense with a long ball. That's the left back. Might be the centre back playing on a little wider position. And now a little bit of space, they shot. Just going to quite keep it down. We watch this. Look at this. Just puts his leg in there. The substitute jitting. And he has the player behind him. And trying to get that shot on. Bengal now. Adamus, lovely turn from him. Okay, good good then. He's possessing it. Nice line tackle. Here comes Chitain again now. He fakes. But this time, East Bengal wins the duel there. And another whistle goes off for a foul on from that sliding title. Player appeals that there was nothing on him. He got the ball. Referee says no and gives a card instead, shows a yellow card instead to him. Okay, he goes in the book. First yellow card of the match. Yes, it was a pretty harsh tackle there, but but it did seem that it he did get the ball. Might have been a follow up on that. That gave him the card. And 
we kind of knew from the get-go that this would be a pretty intense physical matchup, especially from Adamus' standpoint. Adamus are well prepared. Knowing the danger that East Bengal pose. And still know how to hold it off. As we have reached in the closing moments of the game, closing minutes of the game. And he's Spengal. Okay, clear it, but only as far as he's going all up. Tries to lay out the shot on the first time, left for it. Goes wide up for the goal kick. on them because they want to find an opener before the half time. Some three minutes on the clock. And now you can see the desperate lot. East Bengal spaces and in that play. And that was just trying to ruin the momentum there. Trying to make the pop and make the game slow. The blue shot of Adama, you know, and of course, the keeper, keeper. There's a clear, clear to the way, but Adama is not getting it back. The next few. Fouled by East Bengal, and such things are occurring. East Bengal throwing in more tackles now. That frustration and desperation to find an opener before the half time. <laughs> and Sarkar is down. He got the worst of that. There might be a few minutes more added on as we approach the 45 mark, minute mark. What's the number of stoppages throughout the first half so far? Many for injuries and checkups on player. I think for substitution as well. My directly might let this continue for a little while. You see this again. There's the shot, but they got up. It's still a jammer now inside the box. The audience goes around them and they finally get the measure up in that view. And 
East Bengal threw it. It took the time it came off the East Bengal. Yes, Adam is still so well getting it back. Turn on the other side and get it behind his clear. Turn on the other side and get it behind his clear. Turn on the other side and get it behind his clear. Turn on the other side. Player at the current getting on on inside, stumbling backwards and losing his footing. There's nothing he's been going getting it back. Now the ball played in East Bengal. Adam is just waiting for the defense to fall back and blocks it in time well for a corner kick to go. Definitely not out of the woods right now. Adam is playing goal. Could appear lethal from a set piece here. Corner, corner kick. Well, they might take it close to the past few they have taken close passes but come and look to play it in but he does play it close I'm not trying to find some more to go with shorts and there's a half time whistle. It's been 11 minutes to add it on. And that we blow the whistle for half time. And a goalless first half. Lovely play from both teams, though. Adamas holding off East Bengal at the half time. The goalless score line. East Bengal, many a uh, time, has. Come close to scoring. Couldn't find the back of the net there. And even a damage. Skyrocketing a few shots which they had. So, a pretty level game so far, if you ask me. And as teams go into the locker room, both coaches will definitely have a tad bit to say to the players. So, stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back very soon. See what the second half entails for us, and I'm sure it's going to be a really action-packed and action-filled game. Action-filled second half, rather. So stay tuned. Not going anywhere. We'll be back very soon.
আরে ওরা কোথায় গেল
So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back for the second half of this amazing matchup here between Ajamas United Sports Academy and East Bengal Football Club. Both teams having a really fabulous first half as now the kickoff into the second half by Ajamas as the whistle goes off. Ajamas holding off. East Bengal for a while. Then the first half doing pretty well to defend them. And this is the second half to go. Sayan is taken off from Mohammed. And Banerjee. So, I believe that's Mohammed Roshan who comes on in his place, East Bengal. Karthik Paran also has come on for a good job. Now, player down of East Bengal. He's back up. Shamal Desra, the worst. Goal. 
Player of the Jamas now down and does roughly hold up for a bit. Holding it side, is it? And Jamas tries to keep it in. But he went out for a throw in, and Adam is now playing from left to right on his screen. Just not trying to put pressure on Bengal. Here's Adamus. Adamus keeps the ball with them, plays it in its space, but through the space rather. But there was another East Bengal player also waiting there, as well as the intended Adamus player. East Bengal might have a counter attack here. Adamus with the speed to get back. Sends it out for throw him. And now Damas, East Bengal scouting it. And now East Bengal. Inside. Adamus is up. Ross. Here's the damage now, but he has three. Shows around him, tried to play for his player running there, but he went too much behind him. So now Damas having to defend on the other end. And now the offside plan is raised. And gave us the offside. Just gave off. From the offside, was standing on the offside position, came on side to receive the pass. The same time, the offside was given. <laughs> so 
ada si Bijal orang ini kan kumpul umat di kumpul desun dia So here is East Bengal now. Purposeful run. Brought down. Looks to the referee and he's... Get there but now here is East Bengal. With that cross, nobody worked. And... Could have... Made that 1-0 there. But... Went for the goal kick of the elephant. Or letting it go to the defense, letting it go to the keeper. So, sure. Now the two ball. They throw in now from Adamus. So we've had a very slow first 10 minutes. In the second half here. Whistle goes off. Clear away. But I think there was some sort of tackle there because it has been given as a free kick. Is a pretty dangerous location. But Vijay Oran goes off for the two man wall. The ball played in. Comes off. Oh, Ryan goes short and goes for the goal kick. Tanmay Das taken off for TV Snow.
going back to the keeper, he's playing ball. Just playing a little bit inside the box. But Adam has got it back. He's been going to look to the referee. He gives a up ball for the tug on the shot there and has been given. And East Bengal just trying to find any opportunity to get to push themselves forward into the half of Adamus. And East Bengal trying to get a few shots on, but right, East Bengal again get it back. Adamas caught wide open. East Bengal, where do you find that? So long they were looking for it, and they finally do get it back. Nice defending there. Well, to retrieve the ball back for East Bengal and this player. That's Player who came on a few moments ago as a substitute. Immediate impact for him. And he will be happy with himself. Their team will be happy with that too. So, just like that, for catching the move, it was 0. He's playing all the way up. And just clear away and uh, I think now substitution.
and there was a substitution where Deepak coming on for Rohit. Deepak Dutt and Madhi comes on for Rohit Suba. Now trying to break through again East Bengal. But take it away at this time brought down. He watch this again. Just clipped him on his foot there. That was a clear foul. Not sure if he should have got booked for that. But it does look like he has been booked for it. And it's the yellow card. Now we're back to the game and the ball played up. Not too much trouble there for Gurub Shaw. Gurub plays a shot. There's two seven guys. Now the ball played up. What are the midfield? Now looking for the cross in. Instead, looks to play it short. Play the shot. Now in front of goal. Can he get another shot on? Maybe a shot. Deflected. Still not out of the woods. Now for the cross ahead of Fire into the back of the net again. Did he get close it offside? He watched this again. He took the shot. It did fall for a player who crossed it in, but was that. An offside, I think that was an offside. The offside flag was raised. We wish you again would have got the assist this time because the, the opener by him and this time could have got the assist as well. But here was an offside, so the goal wasn't given. Nice right, ball go through. He did look at him and tell him to go in to get that momentary hand signal to him and push him. But he did push him too early. And, well, completely judged the ball right, but defense doing well to stand back and lay the offside trap there. That momentary hesitation from the defender to fall back proved worse and proved good. Now, now clear down. He kick.
Gurup Shaw with the ball to be played up. And here is East Bengal. Adam has scored out in the open. A shot nicely defended by Siddharth Pranay. Here's a damas now. A ball played through the middle. Lovely lift by this player. There's a damas to get it back. From distance, try to cross. And the player looking to get one back in. It's Bengal. Clear down. Well, it was a 50 50. Both players could have got the ball, but at the end of it, Adamus's player did clip EBFC's player of the ankle a little bit. If you watch that cross tried to come in, and in that ball, that 50 50. He went, he did get the ball, but the ball hit his knee and the foot hit Adamus's, or rather, East Bengal players ankle and went through it and in a foul there. Now for the free kick for Adamus. Played it in. Keeper has to punch it away. Those danger lurking in the box. So Adamus low. This time in. There's nobody on the other side. He's going to get it back, but only momentarily. Adamus steal it back from the loose spot. A shot from distance, but he's doing all the defense immediately. Nice turn by Siddhant. Now the ball should be played in. He's over for the future step. Kept to collect it, but just collected. Neatly. The Damas now let's show the tackle from EBFC. But EBFC still on the counter. One on one of the keeper tries to slip it up first. And he does not get it past. He still get it past him. Vijay Orang and finds the back of the net. Thought it might be a foul, but decided to run away with it. I think it is again. PV Vishnu or was it Aman CK? I'm not sure who got that goal, but nonetheless, it is a goal for East Bengal. And the, yes, it is Aman CK who got the goal. And Nasib Raman is down. Adamus, who started off so well in this matchup, from the end of the first half, leading them off so well in the second half, conceding two goals already. With a little over 15 minutes left to play. And as I had said at the start of the game, there is 
East Bengal who know these deep waters so well can survive in them, learn to survive and thrive in these deep waters and Adamus would just be looking to cope in this game but never know they can change the tide and turn fortunes in their favor. It is a bit of a hard work for Adamus but no victory is as sweet as the one that is achieved through hard work and Adamus is going to definitely be looking to change their tide, the tide in their favor now here. And it seems that maybe all is all right so far. And it was a brilliant run there from Aman. The newest player was down. And I think that's what Adamus wanted to bring the player down so that the call can be given and the players can fall back, maybe even at the risk of getting both. But the give a play on because the possession was still in East Bengal's favor and Aman Sikhe made better of it sprinting and he does have that speed on the ball as well we have seen it ever so many times in the previous game against Northeast United and even today started the game on the right wing he was he had those one-on-one -on -one chances with Vijay just couldn't finish them in the first half Vijay was doing ever so well to hold him off but in the second half finally Aman Sikhe finds the back of the net he gets it past Vijay in that one-on-one -on -one chance again finds himself in that position again but this time third time is crown I believe for Aman Sikhe the goal kick now Or I think it offside. Yep, so the offside is getting outside of the field. Fifteen minutes left to play. Last extra time. Even at the goal of East Bengal's second goal, there was a bit of a hold up in the play. You're not driving through Manabir. Steve Ju came on a while back as well. And now East Bengal after those two goals are just doing very well to hold that possession in there and Adamus is still not looking tired just looking a little bit caught out scattered a little bit at some point now they did fall back here now opening up again but once they do East Bengal gets it back that's the point of East Bengal Fix their moment and exploit the opponent. Another booking, not yellow card. This time for East Bengal's player. Dallas. Rana Joy Roy to take the free kick. 
another substitute who came on while back gets it clipped in keeper was well aware of it comfortable save for the keeper he wants this again well he did get it on target the ball the runner joy Roy but I'm sure but now you're these Bengals on the other end and that was just out for the stick but it just comes off him he went to control it and stop it just hit his foot awkwardly went out for the corner kick Another corner. This time playing it into the box. He's been gone. But here are Damas get it back. But nice defending from East Bengal. Adamas with the throw in. Ball played through over the top this time. Is out for the throw in. Off East Bengal. No danger here. Well, now it could be, but it goes off to the of straw. Have to do for him. And East Bengal just a little bit holding on to possession for a while. They did have some more possession in the first half. Now in the second half as well, looking for it, but you're now one on one. This step, a shot. He looked, wanted to take it on his left foot. He said, played it on the right. There was a player running. He did get the player to come to his left foot while he took it out on the right. Played the ball. And shot, but it went for the goal kick. Went wide. And here's the dams.
and here. Adam is just trying to open up the defense and then draw them towards draw East Bengal towards them so that they can move inward. Watch that briefly again. It was a bit of a tackle there. And free kick for Ajamas now. The logo six minutes to play. And here East Bengal trying to make a run through. East Bengal trying to cross it in. Here we are, but East Bengal get it back. And clear down now of Adamus. He watches the end. Adam is clears it away. There is a player who is trying to get it, and this Bengal just pushes him away. And now player down of East Bengal calling for a free kick there. But Adamus, a little bit of time there and he might look for their opener to break to take off this clean sheet of Guru Shaw. Goes out, it's ruined. A 
Or is it a free kick? I'm not sure. It does look like the referee is standing over the spot. Call it for the ball there. It might be a free kick. And there's a bit of a hold up. I think there is a substitution on the way. Adamus is clear. Comes off for another. And it seems that there's a yellow card booking for another player. And sent off for the red card. And Karthik Orion gets the red card and is sent off. Now, I think for time wasting, he was already on a yellow. And he gets another yellow, gets the red to set off. And he was just trying to run down the clock. Can't think. Did get the red card there, sent off. And now playing with 10 men for the next few minutes, which I mean, rather 90 minutes done. Extra time. But can they turn their fortune around in the. Extra time for Damas. Well, there is an added of six minutes. So, well, there is a high possibility of coming back in this game. Adama's trying to play it in, but he's playing on. Just gets it back and here's East Bengal. Throwing it, lunging himself on the sliding tackle there, Adamas. Adamas get it back. And you're in through the center now. Russell goes for a stoppage. I think that was the offside there. And here's the Damas just trying to push through. Now East Bengal. Uh, 
of Dallas gives it back to East Bengals goalkeeper. He's been just holding on to the possession for a little while. You don't want to give the ball to Adamus, but he has Adamus now. A foul. And East Bengal not in a hurry to take the free kick. You know that they probably have this one. Well, two plus goals in a minute. A minimum of two goals required for Adamus should they want to get something out of this match. A minimum of two goals in less than two minutes in 90 seconds and he's been gone probably know they have this one just toying around there for the throw in they said drawing the corner and so craftily are they drawing these outside drawing it so that the ball goes outside well it's either on the sideline for a throw in or for a corner but now giving it away Adamas and he's been gone again this time in front of goal he just touches it and it got off the hand of the keeper Vijay or Rang just had to get the fingertip. He's going on now with the corner kick. Beautifully found a bit of space. This time a sliding tackle from EDFC and now the keeper starts off the match quickly and here's the final whistle and there you have it 2-0 in East Bengal's favor East Bengal coming off of the win though having to play with just 10 men towards the end of it still get the win to a really amazing goal and what a fabulous game it was for East Bengal Adamus tried the level best to keep up in this game and did us ever so well for a little over 15 minutes and then well more than that maybe almost an hour and then does East Bengal who is used to the pressure in the deep waters and they thrive in that started finding goals in the span of oh, I would say 10 minutes or so and enjoying a 2-0 victory so thank you everybody for tuning in with us we hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did if you did stay tuned to the YouTube channel of Reliance Foundation Youth Sports for more of these games as we bring as we will be bringing you back more of the RFDL matches which are coming your way so stay tuned do not go anywhere we'll be back soon this, but in the meantime this is David Lal signing off we hope you have a fabulous day ahead
Take care, stay safe and have a fabulous day ahead.